Hey guys, this is Danny. Um, I just wanted to show you this script quick, which allows you to remap a four by four grid and a knob um, to be able to use um, 64 pads. Um, if your controller doesn't natively allow you to do that, then this will hopefully help. Uh, what well, I've got Koala here in its default mapped state. So top left is note 36. Um, if you have custom mapping and you've gone up from like a different number, if you look at the code, you see here it's got number 36. Oh, that goes over the thing. Um, number 36 here is your start note, and then all banks are chromatic after that, so you can just edit that yourself if you need to. Um, so what this does is, is it's mapped. Six. Um, I need to send Mosaic to Koala as a controller. And from then on, it matches. Okay, so from there, if you go to bank B, it's the same thing. If you go to bank C, it's the same thing. Bank, bank D works as well, right? So all you need to do now is uh, map your controller to Mosaic, not to Koala. So in here, I've got Launchpad Mini. I'm going to send that to MIDI control. Uh, and from there, I'm going to go here, knob A, sorry, pad zero is A1. So you just go through and learn um, how you want it to be. So in my case, I'm just going to go through. Now, the only issue is, oh, it's already learned. So I did this before <laughs> and, and learn, it's already learned. So you go through all the pads, learn, and um, and do it that way. The only issue is that when you've got, because most controllers, like apart from Nano Key, which will match this, but if you've got a 4x4 four four controller, what this means is the bottom left pad, uh, let me just, uh, what is that? Oh, it's because I'm on bank A and I'm looking at bank D. So the bottom left pad, is a one, which means that you're going up as Koala goes down. So what you might want to do is just remap it so it matches visually what you're doing. So if you use, well, if you use Koala in this view, what you want is to map A13, which is knob, uh, sorry, pad, um, pad. <laughs> Pad 13, um, pad 12, actually, 12, because it starts on zero. Pad 12 would be your bottom left pad. So instead of mapping, um, sorry, what am I doing here? Right, so instead of mapping um, pad zero to your bottom left, you pad, you get to pad um, 12 uh, and go from there. And then... Oops. And then on the second row, you need to go up to pad eight. I won't do this whole process, but what that means now is bottom left matches with bottom left. I, I didn't get rid of it from top, but you'll see that it's actually doing bottom uh, row where I'm hitting the bottom row on the pad. So that's just something you need to be aware of. Um, if you're mapping a four by four grid to this view, you kind of need to map this to be your zero um, pad, this to be your second row, this to be your third row, that to be your fourth row. Um, from there, it's all pretty straightforward. You, This is uh, knob zero. The only other thing that I've done here is um, I have uh, added the ability to change the velocity mapping. I'll just add a noise here. And well, these pads are velocity sensitive, but what, what that basically means is that if you change the max, there's a washing machine going off. Um, if you change the max, the 
the maximum volume is reduced and if you change the minimum the minimum volume is reduced so here where it's low you can make it between like 64 and 127 or whatever so you can change the feel of your controller same thing here with um with my controller is not pad, um, velocity sensitive, so you can just use this to actually map different velocities when you're recording. So, so that works. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, um, put them below. Uh, I'll link to the patch in the description and um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.